Hey guys, Povelter here. Riot gave me a sneak preview of the newest champ, Aurora, who is a mid lane mage champ, and I'm excited to share all the stuff they showed me, including her skills, gameplay clips, and just everything about the champion. I'm not a huge lore guy, but basically her background is she is a Vestian bunny witch. It's cool. Her passive is Spirit Abjuration. Aurora damages an enemy three times with spells and attacks. You'll deal magic damage and exercise the spirit to her and spirit mode, gaining move speed, empowering her healing for three seconds. This is like interesting. It's a three hit passive with not just attacks, but also with spells. So it seems like the sort of champion where you want to weave a lot of spells and autos together. And for every time you proc it in combat, I'm assuming the bonus is increased. So it's something that continuously ramps or that you attack and cast spells in combat. Q is twofold hex. So you fire a blast in a direction and you mark them. And when you recast, it pulls back and deals damage again. So this kind of reminds me of two different spells, actually. This reminds me of Ari Q as well as Zoe Q. Yeah, it kind of has elements of both where it goes out and back like Ari Q, but the, the recast is what pulls it back. Yeah, this should be pretty good for wave clear, I'm guessing the same way REQ is, and I'm guessing it's pretty good against melee champions as well, because you can hit both parts of it pretty easily. W is cross the veil, hop in a direction, upon landing, enter the spirit realm, becoming invisible, and enter spirit mode for several seconds. Takedowns on enemies, reset the cooldown of this. Okay, so this one, you hop in a direction. Um, you can traverse terrain with this, I saw. You can go over small ledges and things like that. I'm not sure how thick walls you can go over. But you can definitely go over the small ledges, like in the side of mid, over the bush, for example. And wow, it's um, invisibility. You enter spirit mode, so you'll gain move speed and empower healing, um, calling back to the passive. And then it resets on takedown. So yeah, the more I read of this kit, the more it seems like a slippery sort of in-your-face champ, where you're kind of fighting more melee to mid-range and using your visibility and mobility to stay alive. E is the weirding, send out a blast of spirit magic dealing magic damage in an area and slowing them, or it will hop backwards slightly on cast. So this is like a dual effect mobility spell. You know, you have the kiting back part, say, in Grave Zolt, and then I'm not sure what the AoE on the weirding is, if it's like a cone or a circle AoE, but cool. Um, yeah, a lot of mobility, I've noticed. The W is a mobility spell, the E is a mobility spell. Um, you gain bonus move speed from your passive. So um, a lot of mobility on this champ. And finally, the ulti. Between worlds, send out a pulse of spirit energy that deals magic damage and slows enemies. Area merges with the spirit realm, granting Aurora powered spirit mode and allowing her to travel from one end of the area to the other. Enemies who try to cross the threshold will take magic damage, be slowed, and be pushed back towards the center of the area. So this ability looks very crazy to me, actually. It's like Jarvan ulti, but larger. Um, they all get trapped within pretty much a giant bubble. Like a large J4 ult. Aurora gets an empowered spirit mode. You can travel from one end of the area to other. I, I, so if you touch one end of it, you'll pop back on the other side. Wow, this champ is going to be incredibly slippery and tricky to kill and lock down, I feel like. So you see the ult, and then everyone inside will be trapped unless they can blink out. I think they show Silas try to dash out. You can't dash out of it. So you have to flash, or it has to be a blink, like Ezreal E. Tries to E, he gets stopped. Not really seeing him get pushed back to the center, like I read in the skill description, but yeah, I mean, he definitely can't cross the threshold. And then you see Aurora, if you touch one end of it, it's like taking a hex gate in arena mode, or I guess in Summoner's Rift, you hop back on the other side. <laughs> and I don't know if it has a cooldown either, so it seems like she can just flip back and forth and be for difficult to uh, target in the ult. So that seems like a really crazy ability. Um, high potential for Wombo by locking everyone in the ult as well as just being a great defensive tool. So now that I went over all the abilities, I am going to look at a combination of gameplay clips that they have recorded. You see the Q and the controlled pullback there. Q. And then it pull- Oh wow, the Q acts as a mark on them. So the pullback will always hit actually, I think. So W forward. Ulti E. And look how fast she is. 500 move speed. Oh, she has ghost on. Okay. Wow, the Q just sticking on top of them is really strong, I think. 
Here you can see the W does go over the walls. E into Q. Okay, if you open with E, the Q is easier to land. W forward, ulti. Stops the lantern from saving. Okay, one thing I'm not seeing is the ulti bouncing them back to the center like it was in the ability description. Not sure if they nerfed that. But they are locked out of the... Um, past the threshold. W, stealth. Listen, some abilities. E... Okay, Q. I think the Q, the Q it seems crazy to me. It seems insane to me that when you hit the first part of it, it's like stock on them and you'll hit the second part no matter what. So it's like, you only need to aim the first part. It's not like REQ where you have to be very um, particular about the aiming of it to hit both parts of it. It's just, if you hit the first part, the second part is just guaranteed. Wow. Hop over the wall with W and stealth. There's a reset on takedown. Wow. Auto. Q. W forward. Ult. E pullback. Oh, E pullback knocks him into the ult, which bounces him to the other side. Q pullback. E. Q again. The Q is very spammable. Huh. Okay, one thing that's interesting is that the passive buffs healing, but the champ doesn't really have healing in her kit. As far as I could tell. Ulti's over the wall. Oh, wow. So you ulti over the wall, and then you bounce into the wall, which brings you over the wall. That's crazy. <laughs> that's insane. W over the wall. Q. Doesn't use the E. Okay, E's backwards for distance. Q. I wonder if you can pull the Q in Zonia's. I don't think you can. Go over the wall. W. W resets here. Up again. Yeah, seems like a very in-your-face Lilia type of champion. Definitely the vibe that I'm getting. Guy uh, in the in the clips is going Cosmic Drive every game. I think that makes sense. I I can see Leandris also being a very strong item. Yeah, he has Leandris in this one. And looking at the mana cost. Sorry, big ult. Bounce to the other side with ult. Bouncing back and forth forever. <laughs> um, wow. It's so hard to tell what's going on in some of these clips because the champ has so much mobility. Big ult catches all five. Bounce to the other side. Bounce back. What is happening, man? He's ulting five people and just bouncing from side to side. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I think on this champ, the mana costs look fairly high, so I think you would have to go a lost chapter item. Maybe Seraphs could be viable as well, or shielding. Um, the ultimate definitely looks broken, I'm not gonna lie. Not sure if the champ has super high damage overall, but I think it's just a very sticky and very slippery kind of champ. Looks very high skill, high reward, high mobility, high playmaking, kind of everything we expect from new champs in season 14. So anyway, that's it for Aurora, League of Legends' newest champion coming out at some point in the undisclosed future. Um, it was my first time making this kind of video. I will play this champion on PBE when it comes out. Please let me know what you guys liked, what you didn't like, and what you see. Thank you guys so much for watching video. Peace.